Hey guys, welcome to Wick E Tech, and uh, this video is all about the look and feel of Cyanogen Mod 12 running on my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 P3100. So, without any further delay, let's get right into it. So hey guys, uh, actually the ROM that I am running is the unofficial Cyanogen Mod 12 ROM for the Galaxy Tab 2 and as of now it is running it really smooth without any kind of flutter or lag and I decided to switch from the stock TouchWiz interface that was running since the time I had bought my tablet due to considerable increase in lag which had made it almost unable to use so I usually use my tab uh, which is a tab 2 which is kinda old now for watching movies, youtube videos and some of those sort of stuff it is a really great and uh, fast ROM without any kinds of issues as of now so sliding from the top of the screen once takes you to the notification area and twice takes you into quick toggles you can even directly enable the quick toggles by swapping from the right hand side corner directly this is an unofficial version so you guys are not gonna get any kind of OTA updates on this ROM uh, as it is an unofficial version so for enjoying the latest version the only way out is to flash the latest kernel available via clockwork mod recovery it is advisable to use the latest version of clockwork mod recovery uh, while flashing the rom because uh, using an older version might even break your device so, so i'll be having all the links for uh, including the rom and the latest version of clockwork mod recovery in uh, below down in the descriptions so let's get into the settings now let's roll down to about device yeah it's about tablet so as you can see the model number is P3100 running Cyanogen mod unofficial and android version 5.0.2 which is lollipop and long press takes you into the easter egg kind of a game which is really hard to crack I mean you need a lot of patience to do so let's get back now so if you click on the build number multiple times I guess it's four to five times you uh, enable the developer options so after enabling the developer option you get a new option in the settings menu that is known as performance so after getting into performance go into processor so out here you can you can see the first option that shows the current CPU frequency actually I have overclocked my uh, Galaxy Tab 2 for better performance uh, so as you can see in the third option it, show, it says minimum CPU frequency you have all the way from 300 megahertz to 1008 megahertz so I have currently set it on 1008 megahertz for optimum performance so so like that you can overclock and underclock your CPU and uh, this Cyanogen Mod 12 has an theme engine built into it so it's out here so currently I'm running the stock I mean the default uh, theme but for geeks out there who want to customize their uh, tablets can download more themes by just clicking the get more option uh, on the right hand side corner uh, so you have two two options to get the themes from it's uh, the first one is Cyanogen Mod Themes Showcase and the other one is Play Store yeah by the way I am getting great battery life after flashing the Cyanogen Mod 12 ROM uh, much better than when it was running the stock TouchWiz interface Wi-Fi and browser both are working fine without any kinds of problems 
so now let's get into the lock screen options so first is screen lock you have five types of uh, screen locks the first one is none second one is swipe that i'm currently using swiping up un uh, unlocks your phone or tablet third is pattern fourth followed by pin and followed by password you guys know what they are so i'm not getting into detail up there so the lock screen shortcuts this is something new so uh, so when you are on your lock screen, sliding from the left opens your dialer app directly and uh, similarly sliding from the right opens the camera app and uh, sliding up from the middle unlocks your tablet. So this can be customized after, fla uh, uh, after flashing the Cyanogen Mod 12 ROM. So what you got to do is just click on it. So let us change the dialer app with something else so let's choose calculator so let's see has it changed or no so as you can see it's calculator now on the left hand side so this is really handy if you want to customize or something so i need the dialer app so choosing default that's all under status bar yeah the, the second last option that is the brightness control it says adjust brightness by sliding the uh, sliding across the status bar so this is really a very good feature you uh, there's no need to pull down your notification tray get into quick toggles and then manually adjust the brightness you can directly do it by the or just sliding your finger over the status bar towards the right to increase your brightness and towards your left to decrease your brightness so that this is a very handy feature and uh, this rom packs in with uh, a file manager which is nowhere close to uh, your es file explorer or solid file explorer uh, you have a gallery app which is pre-installed and these are the calculator app that is there inside similar to the lollipop one you have a messaging app which is not the messenger app by google but this is a different one by cyanogen i guess you have the normal dialer found on all uh, uh, lollipop devices so that is cool and so you can see here you have a dedicated app for themes in the menu too as you guys know that uh, android 5.1 lollipop is right around the corner and we are gonna see it soon I just wanted you uh, to keep you guys informed that my primary daily driver is the Nexus 5. So as I get an OTA on the 5.1 Lollipop update, I'll be uh, making a dedicated video on that too. So please be subscribed. So let's get back to the topic. So the Samsung Mod 12 on the Galaxy Tab 2 runs like a champ as you guys saw. Uh, and I haven't seen any kind of issues as of now so if you guys have any kind of query or anything do post them down in the comment section below the tab 2 is pretty much an outdated tablet as of now but if you bit if you guys want to experience the lollipop on your tablet do flash the Sanogen Mod 12 ROM it is really stable I'll, ha I'll be having all the links to the ROM pages and more stuff in the description down below. So please don't uh, forget to check them out. And those who like the video and want to see more videos like these including app reviews and phone reviews. Do subscribe to my channel and like the video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.